good YouTube. It's your boy 21 Tywell. Back at it again. You know, I got the new hairstyle. I took down the locks, man. I wanted my natural hair back. That's not the point. Today, I'm bringing y'all a very special video. Last week or two, I made a video about, you know, how to get your vert up, how to get your vertical jump up, how to get your knees right. But now I'm bringing you the same video, but all body weight movement. So this is great for beginners through advanced. Um, and show you guys how to get your knees healthy without using any weights at all. You can do this exercise anywhere you want to. So stay tuned, you in for a good one. So like in my last video, my last workout video that I posted, this is the um, ROKP, uh, reverse out knee pain. I do this for five to 15 minutes before I start working out. Um, and I also do it after practice as well, just to promote blood flow and healing to my knees. And yeah, this is a daily movement that I do every day before any workout, but definitely before a workout like this. You said you said it yourself that you get. Um, this movement is the tibialis raise. I had this in my last video as well, but um, to reiterate, the tibialis anterior is a very important muscle that protects the knees. It is basically the muscle next to the shin bone. Um, the tibia and the muscle also connects to your ankles. So this movement protects the ankles and strengthens the ankles as well. Um, I do about 25 of these before moving on to the next movement. This exercise is called the FHL calf raise, and it's basically focused on strengthening you through the big toe, because the uh, stronger you are through the big toe, the less pressure there is going through your knees, which is very essential. Uh, I do about 25 reps of these as well before moving on. And then after the calf raises, we do another set of tibialis raises just to double up on the strengthening of the tibialis muscle. This movement is the knees over toes calf raise. Um, this movement strengthens the soleus, the lower part or the lower muscle in the calf muscle, uh, protects you from Achilles injuries um, mainly. And here we do uh, another set of 25. You can do it two legs at a time, like my girlfriend's doing, or you can do it uh, with one leg at a time if you're more advanced and it's too easy with two legs. This exercise is the Patrick step, basically the beginner's version of the Patrick step up that I showed you guys in my last workout video. It has the same function, um, just basically strengthening that VMO, which is the first muscle that protects the knee. With this exercise, I do uh, 25 reps per leg.
This movement here demonstrated by my girlfriend is the ATG split squat. She's using a um, platform to raise up her heel and her toes from the ground so that she can get full coverage of that calf muscle with her hamstring. Um, and when you get more advanced, then you can remove the platform and um, do it like I'm doing right here. With this exercise, I do five sets of five reps per leg. This exercise here is the L sit. Um, it strengthens the hip flexors, which are the muscles that are used to pick up the leg muscles. So as your legs get bigger, your hip flexors need to be stronger because uh, your hip flexors will be doing more work as they get bigger. So these are very important. Um, the goal is to get both legs off the ground, um, but obviously I can't do that. So you can regress by just doing one leg at a time for a minute each and yeah. And last but not least, this is the knees over toe squat. Um, the HEG split squat strengthens us for positions mm -hmm. in our sport when we're in full knee bend. And the Patrick step strengthens us for positions when we're in one fourth knee bend. So this exercise strengthens our legs for positions when we go over full knee bend and we like take a weird awkward fall or something. And um, yeah, it protects your knees from any injuries from positions from your legs being in that type of position here i do uh 25 reps in total And that's all she wrote. I tried to show you guys uh, my girlfriend doing the movements as well. So you can see that anybody can do this movement. You can regress any type of way. So um, yeah, there's the workout right there. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace. <laughs>